Now to a CBS 4 News exclusive and nearly two years after a dynamic Airways jet caught fire on a runway at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International, some of the passengers traumatized by their brush with death are taking action against the airline. CBS 4's Carrie Codd live at the airport with details on a story you'll see only on CBS 4. Carrie. That's right, Rick. It was nearly 20 months ago when a plane full of people on this dynamic international flight here got the scare of their lives. This plane was taxiing for takeoff. It caught fire. Everyone survived, but there were injuries and very frightening moments. Tonight, dozens of those passengers say they want dynamic international and the pilot held accountable. Suddenly, I hear a very, like something like an explosion. Carlos Garcia says he'll never forget the moment he thought he was going to die inside this dynamic international airways jet at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. El avión está en fuego. The plane is burning. Engines on fire, engines on fire. Garcia made it out alive that day in October 2015, as did all the other 100 passengers and crew members on the plane that was headed for Venezuela. But 21 people suffered minor injuries, and one person suffered serious injuries evacuating the plane after it caught fire. Attorney Steve Marks is representing 77 passengers that are suing Dynamic International Airways and the pilot of the aircraft. The trauma never leaves you because it's a, it truly is a near-death experience. The plane still sits at the airport. Federal investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board have not completed their final report into the accident. According to a preliminary report released days after the accident, the NTSB found that a coupling assembly on the main fuel supply line disconnected. Attorney Steve Marks says Dynamic and the plane's pilot were negligent and caused severe mental anguish and fear of death for passengers. He says many of the passengers are okay, but others are terrified to fly, and several have had significant setbacks, like losing their jobs and overwhelming anxiety. From an extreme to serious orthopedic injuries, to loss of employment, to loss of uh, huge economic losses, medical expenses. Carlos Garcia says he still has nightmares, and it took him months to get on a plane again. He hopes the lawsuit brings better training for flight crews and better communication for from airlines, two problems he found through his experience. This was a horrible case of lack of maintenance and lack of care. That's something that should not happen. That's something that's totally preventable. The attorney for the passengers tells me he had hoped to settle these cases, but he was unable to, and that led to the filing of this lawsuit. We reached out to the corporate offices at Dynamic Interla International Airways for a comment on this lawsuit. They have not gotten back to us. Live near FLL, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Carrie.